Hey everybody, this is Ian O'Byrne again. I'm taking a look at a Chrome extension. So it's a browser extension that I use a lot, uh, and that's Draftback. One of the reasons why I love Draftback is it does almost like a playback of my writing and revision history in Google Docs. So you can search online for Draftback. You can also find it in the uh, Chrome Web Store. Uh, so Draftback, it's basically a plugin. I've already added it to Chrome. And the nice thing is when you use Draftback, what you're going to get is you're going to get this button up top. Okay, so this is a Google Doc. This is a piece that I wrote for hybrid pedagogy. I talked a little bit about it in earlier uh, videos. And this, uh, all my writing I do in Google Docs. I, uh, the reason why I do it is I can basically uh, create a document. I can jump in at any point on any device. Uh, through Google Docs, I can start and stop editing and re revising and writing at any point. What I also like is that I can share the materials openly online. So I can share the the doc, you know, this document out with colleagues and friends. They can give me feedback. I can get revisions. One of the nice things is also that you know when I sent this out for hybrid pedagogy, the editors and I carried on dialogue in this Google Doc. So they would come into the document and leave me feedback and comments and suggestions. I would clean it up. I would fix my writing. They would come back in and clean things up. So there's much more of a dialogue and there was less wasted time. I feel like in the past, I would send a Word document out to an advisor or a colleague and I'd get it back and there'd be discussions about what version it was or track changes was used or not used and then you're trying to make sense of it. For me, it's a lot easier to make sense of it in uh, Google Docs. The challenge is sometimes in your revisions, you lose track of what actually happened. That's why I really like Draftpack and I think there's a lot of uses for uh, teaching and learning and there's opportunities to use this as a, a central piece of the writing process in your classroom. So once again, all I did was I installed Draftback through the Chrome Web Store. All it's gonna do is it's gonna give you this button here. So if I click on it, I can delete this, I can re-render it, which means that if there's new revisions or changes to the document, it will uh, add those back into the mix, into the playback. But if I hit play, what it's going to do is it's going to go through my revision history and it's going to show me the changes that have happened over time. So there's a lot of different things that I can do here. I can, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. So what you're seeing is different changes over time that have been made to the document. You're seeing over here on the left sort of an overview of the whole piece. If I wanted to, I could play this at the actual speed. I can also zoom in or out. So there's a, a quick way to like, I don't think anyone's going to sit here and, and review all of the changes that have been made, but I think there's an opportunity to scrub in and out, you know, zoom in and out right here to find individual changes you want to, to locate. So here I can look at when, you know, the, uh, when larger changes happen in my document. So if I move that playhead, so this is a playhead like I'm watching a video, if I move it up a little bit, you can see that my document went from a shorter piece to a much longer piece. And then I can also see different changes that have occurred. So I can see now that the edits that it's showing are over you know, about a quarter of the way through my piece, and I can start playing again. So I can see the growth of my writing over time and I can see changes that I've made. So there's a, a way that I can make sense of this and I can view edits over time. If you're a, a writing instructor, you can easily dive in and see what you or your students are doing. Uh, what's nice is I can also embed this content in a website. So if I want to pull this out and play like a little snippet in my piece or put it on a website, I can show that there. What's also fun with this is I can look at uh, some of the history and the information that I have from my writing. So all I did was I pulled this feedback here, this dialog, this tab, and I clicked on document graphs and statistics. And what it's gonna do is give me a summary of what's happened over time. So I can see where my document, so this is the length 
of my document. I can see where I made changes over time. I can see the timeline of changes. When was activity happening? You know, so I can see the length grew over, you know, over this period of time. I can see the activity of like when I actually logged in or when someone logged in to make changes. I can go down and I can see, and this for me is the fun part because I can see what I did to the document, but then you can also see what others have done. So whenever I get questions from people about, okay, does anyone actually go in and edit or change or revise or give you feedback just on your work, just through the kindness of their heart? And I can say yes. And this paper specifically, I got a lot of feedback from, like I said, a dozen odd people that helped out. So I can go in and see on dates for how long was I in there. So this day I was in there for 22 minutes and I was writing. I made, you know, a little over 2000 revisions, but then I can go in and I can see that other people came in, made revisions for me, how long they were in there reading and revising and reviewing. So I can look at this history over time of changes made, how much time was spent, how many changes were made. Um, and I can look at this data about my writing. So once again, and the extension that I use and I love to use is DraftBack. It basically gives you a playback of the history of your writing in a Google Doc. Once you add it, it's going to give you this DraftBack button. Then it gives you this playback that you can either embed this out or you can play to see the changes that are being made. And if you want to and you want to break down the data a little bit more, you can take a look at, okay, how did we grow over time? When did we make these edits, where in the document were the changes being made, and then also what's the time and duration of revisions and, and amount of, you know, what days uh, did writing sessions happen. So once again, that's DraftBack, super powerful tool, definitely recommend it. It's a part of my writing repertoire.